Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. So, I don't go to the city often any longer. I'm not a huge fan. It's a little too crowded, a little too dirty on occasion, but, and expensive. But um, I really want to take the trip out yesterday to Forbidden Planet in New York City. It's on Broadway. I think the address is 832 Broadway. Here's a bookmark I had gotten from them a while ago from a movie I had purchased, actually a friend purchased me, and they included this in the package, because they were having a Saturn's Core signing party. Um, this was really cool. <clears throat> I became uh, friends online with Scooter McRae um, and a few others who have released Saturn's Core movies. Uh, Saturn's Core is a sub-label of Vinegar Syndrome, or I should say a partner label, really. It's, I don't think they are owned by Vinegar Syndrome, but I could be wrong. And they put out a lot of weird kind of underground shot on video movies, a lot of really cool stuff. Some of it's a little raunchy, some of it's more comedic, uh, but all of it's interesting. So I caught the train. Um, I think I got into Penn at like four something. Um, the event started at five. I don't really know my way around the area and it was about a two mile walk and I wasn't sure how the area was. So I took a cab. $20 later, not cheap, and got to Forbidden Planet a couple minutes before everyone. I think the only people that were there were Joe Sazzo, Zazzo, Zazzo, and um, Sasha Graham, who are in a movie called Guilty Pleasures. I believe Joe was the director. I've never seen their film, so, you know, we sort of locked eyes a little bit. Hey, how you doing? But, and they seemed very nice. But I don't know them and I don't know their movie. So um, I didn't feel comfortable like going up and bothering them and like I had nothing for them to sign. So um, Ross Snyder from Saturn's Core came in. We chatted for a moment. I met a guy there named Steve. We started talking about movies and shot on video, video violence and a couple other films we really liked. Very cool guy. And... Then um, Scooter McRae came walking down the block, and he was sort of in a rush. I said, Scooter McRae, and he looked at me, and I said, Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, I've reviewed your movies. And he's like, oh my god, Mike, how are you? Come on, I'm, I'm late. And he was like a little frantic, so I followed him, and we got in, and he was exactly what I expected, and I told him that. He was, uh, you know, quirky and funny, and um, you could tell intelligent, but uh, very, you know, humorous kind of guy. So <clears throat> I get there, and I said, you know such a big fan of your movies and he goes well thank you for always like reviewing them because I said I don't know if it got many eyes out there because my my channel sort of went from mainly video games to movies but you know I do love talking about it and I enjoy film and all, all these underground types of films so he was very very kind and um, he took a couple pictures with me if you wait till the end of this video I'm gonna try to put all the pictures I have of the um, directors and actors and stuff at the end there's maybe four or five photos, but I got Scooter McRae to sign his um, most famous film, Shatter Dead, and he wrote, God hates you like sheep, because that's one of the taglines from the film. Love Scooter McRae, so that was very cool. Um, and then he signed the slipcover for 16 Tongues, I Can't Afford to Turn Off the TV, because in the movie, it's a, it's a, a pretty dirty film, and in the movie, the guy's in a hotel, and they just pump in pornography the whole time, and you have to pay for it to stop. So it sort of like drives you nuts. Um, he also autographed a cover of the movie, The Future is Cancelled. And uh, he said, how many L's are in Cancelled? And I said, I think it's two in America and one in England, or vice versa, or maybe one in America and two in England. And he said, well, I put three, so it was wrong in both places. So that was pretty amusing. Uh, again, a very funny guy. Um, I also got to meet Tina Krause, who uh, I didn't have any of her Saturn's Core releases. She did a lot of wave films. Saturn's Core put out Sorority Slaughter, and what was the other one that was very popular she was in? Oh, Psycho Sisters, which I've seen. But I did bring Limbo with me, which is a Agfo release, another label I really love. They said they didn't mind signing things that weren't theirs. She was very sweet and you know took a photo with me and signed her movie and this was, uh, I believe, her film that she created, so I thought that was kind of cool that I got her to sign it, as opposed to maybe a movie she just starred in. And then 
Um, finally, I got to meet Matthew Giaquinta, who I've become friendly with uh, on Facebook. This is his movie, The Good Book, which I've reviewed recently on this channel. He was really cool. Um, he thanked me for my, my videos, even, you know, I, as I say, I have a kind of small niche audience, but he thanked me for my videos, and I, I just repeated myself to him that I, I like all these films because his, his obviously, uh, especially when I was talking to him, because they all have heart. Even though these movies are low budget, and they're weird, and they can be artsy, and they have, you know, strange stories, and, and maybe the editing isn't perfect, they have heart, and they're labors of love, and they're interesting, and the special effects are cool, and the ideas are cool, and when you watch things that are huge budget movies, they don't really hit a good nerve for me. Most of the time, I find them sort of bland or repetitive, where with these, even though, you know, it's shot on video, it's grainy, or it doesn't look good, you could tell the person put all their, you know, good intent into these films, and I like that. I like when these movies are done by these people that really try hard and, um, again, have interesting concepts that you don't see in other high-budget endeavors to, you know, make millions and billions of dollars out there. You know, I don't want to see Avatar and um, all these other films. So, I like this stuff. And I express that to all of them. I, I really appreciate all their films, and I think they're really cool. Scooter McRae is one of my favorite um, shot-on-video filmmakers. So if you haven't seen it, I, I definitely recommend all these movies. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the gist of it. I, I did get to touch base very slightly with, and I hadn't seen his films before, uh, William Hellfire, who I'm friends with on Facebook. Very nice guy. He made a comment about my Godflesh shirt, and he said, if you, if you like Godflesh, check out Big Black. And I did, and I enjoyed it. It was sort of like an industrial, noisy kind of uh, metal. And... Uh, some people online were arguing whether it was industrial or not, but I thought it was. And then today, when I spoke to him briefly on Facebook, I asked him the name of the band again because I couldn't remember initially. And he recommended a band called, I don't know if it's Rape Man or Rape Man, but it was pretty cool. Again, sort of industrial sounding, noisy stuff. I prefer Big Black, but, um, but Rape Man was good too. And... That was it. I took a photo with everyone. So like I said, you'll see those at the end of the video if I can figure out how to throw them in there. And I just had a good time. Um, I didn't want to stand around and sort of, I don't know, uh, expect these people to entertain me or, or tell me stories, you know. Uh, Scooter brought his <laughs> his flask with him, which I hear is his, uh, his signature thing to do. And he says, does anyone want a drink? And I said, I'm good, thank you. But, um, you know, him and a couple others had a, had a quick swig, I think, behind the scenes. And, uh, yeah, it was just a fun event, and I, I would like to go to more of them and, you know, check out more of their films and their shorts and, and things they've worked on. So I really enjoyed myself. So thank you to Ross for putting this together and Forbidden Planet in New York City. Cool store, a little smaller than I expected. Lots of stuff. Wall-to-wall, -wall, Blu-rays, DVDs, comics, Dungeons & Dragons, you know, role-playing dice, Funko Pops, all types of t-shirts. It's like a, a nerd haven. So if you haven't been there, check it out. Um, and that's it. So I had a great time. Thank you to everyone and, uh, for everyone's kindness. And I'm, I'm glad I got to express how much your movies mean to me and how much I enjoy them. Thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.